we're here. We are here. We're here today in the garage this time. Joining the scene today, the lovely Nick Barber, the Mr. Narva artist. Um, it's chilly. Yeah, let's shut the door. It's pretty chilly in here, but we got a space heater going on. We're gonna do some drawing on some paper with some stuff. What are we gonna draw? Like a big badass tiger. Big badass tiger. Yeah, like Don't traditional know. Japanese style. I'll get some sumi, some Tosca markers. And that's gonna be very wonderful. Hopefully. I think so, probably. Yeah. We're gonna like do this. And yeah. There's a bunch of wood on here to knock on. I always say that I'm going to do figures or I don't know what I'm going to do and then it either ends up as figures or something that I didn't know I was going to do, so that checks out. Man, you're doing what you say. Yeah. <laughs> Making sure it's ambiguous enough so that I have some of that wiggle room. Yeah, exactly. And away we go. Grandma! Cheers. What he said. Can I like caress this little guy? Oh yes, here. This is Tommy Frazier the second. As you can tell, he's pondering whether or not to play baseball instead of football. Is that right? Tommy Frazier play football? Sure. This is a uh, Sancho. Sancho owns a food shop on the coast of California. No way, really? Yeah, he's in debt to the Yakuza, unfortunately. Oh, fuck. Same, actually. What's it like? Well, I still have all my fingers. That's. Which is like. That's huge. something to be happy about. Yeah. Can't say the same about the rest of my family. They help them lose weight? Well, I mean, they don't eat as much. So, yeah. If you think about it, their arms are like two giant chopsticks. How's the tiger feel? You know, I'm not mad about it. I'm pretty happy. It's a really quick, fun little sketch just to get me out of the kill. Creative blockage. I wish I had bigger utensils. This would have been fun to like spray paint, but it's okay. I mean, I haven't used pastels in a really long time, but this is the first time I've also like layered my postcard markers like that. And then down here, I got this like brush pen that I thought would be more of a brush, but it was very rigid and didn't work. So I wrote a brush my ass. Yeah. Think about what's going on over here. Using different types of drawing mediums is relatively new for me to use it all in one composition. I just kind of went at it with, you know, the basic figure things and I was trying to introduce variety with colors and textures. I think you have a couple of like really beautiful contrast and texture though. Like take a look at some of these lines compared to here. Like this, mm -hmm. this strip alone looks like that like Dixie cup from the 80s. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Like oh, it's it. really nice right here. The Sharpie would push away different sides of the charcoal. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It was around. incredible. Cool. Yeah. I'm liking the blues that came around in this area. But what do you see in this thing? To be completely honest, it looks like one of those like bake off cakes. Oh, I love it. What flavor would it be? Oh man, I'm thinking like bright orange, like sherbet mm. with some sort of like lavender undertone. You know what I mean? Like it's got purple cake inside with like orange and blue frost on the outside. It almost feels like if Edward Scissorhands tried to make a festive cake. Cause like the background is so dark and dismal. Mm, yeah. But everything else is colorful and cheerful. I like the words that are being exchanged too. <laughs> What's gonna happen with the Nard Tiger? Um, I think I'm gonna save it and use it as a reference for uh, a bigger piece. Cause I would like to spray paint this somewhere. Or even save it as like a tattoo stencil maybe? And like refine, the face is kind of lacking. I feel like I have a good enough movement within the body, but the, the face is just subpar. Is it just the fact that the Fang, I'm just gonna be stupid and call them Fang holders, they look like balls? <laughs> I think so, yeah. It's one thing I've always had an issue with with drawing like any kind of feline creature is like, I don't know how to do the jowls. Me neither. It's so fucking it's weird. weird. Yeah. Same with noses. Every single art history class I've ever taken. I always called out something as being phallic in some fashion. Yep. In a way that like they didn't like it and, oh, yeah. and whatnot. Noses, sometimes they just I, really? they always be looking phallic to me. I guess if you draw the T of the forehead with the nose, that can get very phallic. But if you think about like if you do the two nostrils type yeah, deal. Yeah, I see where you're going. It's like it's just going. Up. Look at this and look at me and looking at you looking at this. Hundred percent certain I could fit this whole thing in my mouth. Nah, don't do that. 
It's like mating call. I was like, it's a mating call. I think that's a good place to wrap it. <laughs>